street. It's all right, Mom. What? We are, we're videotaping this. Let's show, come, come show me this. This is Coach. This is the outlet store for Coach, right? Uh, Check this thing out. This is most of the stores. They have signs saying what's going to be on sale. This is there are here. This display. Look at this. Yes. Hey, Coach. Be ready. Coach Inc. is an American leather goods company based in New York. It has grown to a leading American marketer of fine accessories and one of the most recognized brands in the market. Coach first introduced their women's handbags in the 60s. They differentiated themselves from other brands by making their bags out of sturdy cowhide as opposed to the thin leather pasted over cardboard that was used for most women's handbags at the time. This innovation marked the company's entry into the field of classic, long-lasting, luxury women's handbags that Coach would come to define. Coach has low brand value because they have too many factory outlets, which devalues the brand. 80% of products found at factory stores are made specifically for factory outlets. Coach also has heavy discounts. The use of coupons and sales makes the brand seem more low-end and less luxury. Because they have so many discounts and cheaper products at their factory outlets, Coach's higher-end products aren't really purchased. Coach's reputation as a value brand appreciates its prestige. Coach's use of discounts leads the consumer to doubt the quality of their products and decreases brand loyalty among consumers who purchase from their retail stores. Coach needs to update their designs in a more innovative and sophisticated way and get back to their New York vibe. Coach also has lost a lot of status and has fallen into the accessible luxury category. It should revamp the brand and become a lifestyle luxury brand again. Coach has no market segmentation or specific product positioning. They try to market to an older, more sophisticated crowd while also marketing to the teenage crowd. Coach has several lines that diverge and are discordant within the brand, like the Poppy line and their classic lines. Coach also neglects the fashion conscious customer. Coach prides itself on its New York origins. The company started in 1941 as a small family business based in Manhattan. The first Coach store opened on Madison Avenue and thereby solidified its place in New York fashion. Over time, Coach has strayed from its original heritage and lost its New York character. Coach needs to retain its original identity by updating their designs and embodying a more sophisticated metropolitan style.
In order to gain a greater brand awareness, Coach should place their products in popular TV shows such as Sex and the City and Gossip Girl. These shows embody the New York lifestyle that the Coach brand was originally built on. Through product placement, Coach will be able to raise brand awareness and create a positive identity. Therefore, they should re-identify with their New York origins through extensive promotions such as marketing campaigns, advertisements, and product placement. They should also create a campaign using iconic New York symbols like the Empire State Building, Fifth Avenue, or Madison Avenue that depict a New York fashionista lifestyle. They should create a fashion line to make their product seasonal and thereby expand the brand. This fashion line will also allow Coach to participate in fashion shows which would generate publicity, awareness, and repute for the brand. Brands such as Louis Vuitton, Prada, Gucci have followed this business model and as a result have elevated their brand status through diversification. Hi, I'm Leighton and welcome to my Teen Vogue photo shoot. I shoot on the streets all the time for the show and it's very different when you're doing a photo shoot. I feel a lot of energy from the city, from the traffic and the people and whether it's, you know, cold and windy or if it's sunny and hot, it's it's such a beautiful backdrop to shoot in. in any street you go is like a postcard. We suggest that Coach creates an it bag similar to other luxury brands have done, such as the Hermes Birkin, Quilted Chanel bag, or the Marc Jacobs stand bag. These bags were inspired and named after fashion icons and celebrities, which have elevated the brand equity for these companies. Our team has decided to create a bag inspired by our New York style icon, Leighton Meester, who plays Blair Waldorf from Gossip Girl. It will be called the Waldorf. We think she epitomizes the elite New York lifestyle and would be the perfect muse for the coach brand. By placing this bag in her show, we would not only gain exposure, but increase the brand's awareness and status. The IT bag will hopefully reposition the company's social place in the minds of consumers. We ultimately hope to bring Coach into the luxury market. Despite our critical examination on Coach, it is still a very popular brand in the fashion market. However, it has a very low brand equity. Our team feels that Coach should reposition its brand through extensive marketing. It would not only be able to increase its brand status, but also drive more sales at its retail outlets instead of depending on sales from factory outlets. We believe that Coach's strongest characteristic is its emphasis on quality and fine workmanship. But by tapping into the New York heritage, it will create a stronger profile. And with an innovative product like the Blair Bag, Coach definitely has more potential to succeed in the coming years.